channel. My name is Nicole and today in this video I'm going to teach you one of my favorite childhood tricks which is a cartwheel. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go shoo and shoo and shoo and shoo. Or for advanced dancers or for advanced people if you're seeking for a challenge you can try on two one arm. But I'm not gonna be teaching that. I'm just gonna explain the basic 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 one. Ladies and 
strong, facing it forward. Arms are in one line, we go boom, boom, kick, stretch, and voila. The last thing that is very important, or not super important, not as important as the elbows, you know, but it's, it's also good to think of, is how you, how you finish it. So if you manage to make it to the other side, I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious, but you shouldn't stay here, right? You have to bring your body up, and you can finish it nicely, or you can continue like, wee, strutting, because, you know, you can do like, wee, and wee, and then a few at the same time. Um, but if you just want to do one, then, you know, you start here, your arms are up, you step to the front, stretch, kick, boom, boom, and finish it up, okay? So you have to bring your body up as you throw your legs over. I'm going to show you one more time. So you're here, stretch, kick, boom, boom, up, and you're going to arch and finish it up. So those are the rules. Those are like the tips and tricks on how to do beautiful cardio. Just one small, small thing extra. If you have space in your bed to think about it, as you are up, try to point your toes, okay? So it's just like an aesthetic thing in dancing and gymnastics that like you won't be doing this unless that's like um, the plan. And like I showed you at the very beginning, if you're like, okay, I'm totally killing it, I actually want to get a challenge, you can try on one hand, but Please don't do it if you have never done it or if you are like, you know, don't, like, like I'm very much advocate of like doing things slower but confidently and progressively instead of trying things out that you've never done and then hurting yourself and that advocacy in my case came really from experience because as you, some of you may know, I did injure my ACL because I was just too fast and too confident. And ever since then, I decided to respect my body, respect my boundaries, and do things slower, but in steady pace, okay? But again, if you, for instance, really confident and you know how to do a cartwheel, you can actually, instead of putting two hands, put one, boom, and then it's literally the same thing. I like to hold my elbow, because otherwise I don't know how to do it the other arm. Boom. Yeah, it's just cuter. Um, so yeah, that's like kind of the intermediate um, challenge for people. Um, so yeah, that's like basically um, the cartwheel uh, tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it's sufficiently explained for you and now you know what to do and you're ready to cartwheel through the world. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, I'm very open to hear about it. Um, and of course, don't forget that I also have online classes and tutorials on my website. Um, so if you'd like to purchase any, please click the link below. And uh, as a YouTube subscriber, you have 50% discount and this is the discount code right here. So yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.